Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the ice cream shop pass in Java. Let us show the demo first. Right, this is the demo. These are the ice cream flavors available. This is chocolate, mango, mixed fruit and vanilla and strawberry. Now first what I am going to do is here. I am going to this one. Uh, click on this one. We have to order one item. Click OK. Here it's added the table successfully. If you click this one, it's a mango, it's a quantity two. Click OK. Here it's successfully added the J table here. It's final total should be the calculated and display here. Now going to order the drink. Here drink there are consists of three flavors available: cock and orange juice and apple juice. Order one cock. Click on this one. How much quantity? One. Apple juice. Click on this one. How many quantity? One or two. Click. Okay. Here. So all the uh, prices will be here. It's display here, and so all the things will be calculated and display in the uh, here. Right. Uh, this pass how to do step by step. I will be teach. Now let us close the table. Right. Now first step what I am going to do is here. Go to the file, new project, Java application. Click next. Here, if it is check create main class, you must uncheck it. And here you have to give the project name. I'm going to give the project name as ice cream pass. Click finish. Right. Now your project has been created successfully with the name of ice cream pass. Right. Now what I am going to do is here. Uh, there will be a project folder consists of two main folders. One is a source source package. Another one is a libraries. Now here select the source package. This folder first here. We have to expand it. There will be the default package available. Select the default package. Right click new Java package. Here you have to create the new package as ice cream. You can create any name of the package name. That is doesn't matter. I'm going to create as ice cream. Click finish. Right now, your uh, new package has been created successfully with the name of ice cream. Select the package and right click and new J frame four. Right now, here you have to give the class name as I just give as ice. Right class name I give as ice. Right now, otherwise you can give as a pause. Right. Click finish. Right now, your empty uh, form has been created successfully. This one should be the empty form. Now we have to uh, make this form look like this, right? It's very simple. First, what I'm going to do is here we have to increase the size of the form, look like this, right? Now, here what I'm going to do is here first step, I'm going to get one panel, go to the uh, palette and get the panel and drag on the form and you have to arrange like this panel this one should be the heading this heading i am going to make here right now select this the panel right click properties here we have to uh, change the background color as this color click ok right perfect after that what i am going to do is here i have to design this heading right also let's go to the uh, palette and drag one label here and right click sorry here you have to write here yeah, ice cream I'm giving ice cream ice cream shop pass I just write as in Java I write as Java right that's the only thing you have to do right now select this one uh, right click properties here we have to this is the fonts size and style you can uh, you can ch choose here from here here I'm going to choose the with bold I'm going to increase size of 36 here yeah, click OK All right okay, perfect now there are, now I'm going to change the font style and color select this one right click properties here we have to change the foreground color as white white to white we will give you as white click ok now the perfectly the color has been changed 
now if you want to change the font style you will be able to change here this is the style you have to change click ok now it's if you 48 should be possible right with bold ok here the same thing as look like this right same thing right now here we have two right. panel size we have to decrease the size of this one right perfect perfect right it's at the center right right now click on the frame uh, pro uh, properties code click generate set center option click and run the project and check whether it's working fine or not right it's perfectly it fit on the center and uh, working fine now let's design the uh, remaining st uh, stuff right now let's go to the design this is the design we have to make this is called as tap all right so go to the palette this is a tap pan you have to click under the uh, swing containers there will be the uh, tool called tap pan you just click and drag on the form here all right we have to arrange like this simply we have to arrange like this all right that's a tough you have to do. right after that we have to add the tabs it's look like this this kind of tab we have to make so it's very easy uh, what I'm going to do is here go to the palette this is a panel you just drag the panel on the uh, tab here here it's automatically tab is created if you uh, drag another panel here a second one should be created right now here this one should be select this one right click edit text we have to change this one as a ice cream ice cream right this one should be drink right that's it this one should be ice cream this one should be drink right now what I'm going to do here select the ice cream tap here I go to the uh, I have to uh, add some labels here if you have to drag one label here all right now here I'm going to add the images all right so here select this label right click properties here we have to select the icon property okay here you are going to add the images to this label right here you have to select the this external images this one you have to click on this button here you have to select where your images located in your computer right I have put into my e drive the folder items like this folder right this is the images first one I'm going to add as a chocolate chocolate image see this one click OK it should be there right now what I'm going to see the same size we need to add at the another item also so select this image right click copy and paste right you can get the copy again you have to align like this right now here select this one right click properties select the icon here we have to change this one as a second one as a uh, mango click ok right perfect after that again go to select this one right click get a copy copy right click and paste sorry not here you have to copy and paste get the copy here. right now here this one properties icon you have to change it as a mixed fruit the so mixed fruit ice cream right after that same thing select copy and paste it Here also you have to change the image as uh, here icon this one vanilla 
click OK. Out of the final one should be store query, right? So here we have two extra spaces here we can remove like this. Right. Right. Now you'll be able to add here as a value. Right. Now here what I'm going to do is here copy, paste, select and paste it here. This one should be other. And here it's a size should be wrong. Select this one again. Copy and paste it. Right. Perfect. Now select this one. Right click properties. Here we have to change this this one as a, this one should be the store berry. Select as store berry. Click OK. Right. That's it. That's the thing you have to do. Right. These are the uh, ice cream flavors available, right? Chocolate, mango, mixed fruit, vanilla, and strawberry, right? This one tab, right? Second tab, this this should be the part of the drink, okay? If you want to uh, get the drink, click on this one, this tab, ice cream, this tab, right? Click on this drink tab. Now you have to drag the uh, drink images. So the same image, select this one, right click, copy, Select the drink here, paste it here. Right, get the drink image. Right. If there is any problem, you can undo it. Get the images and you have to place it here. Right. That's the stuff you have to do. Right. After that, what I'm going to do is here, we have to get the another copy. Copy and paste here. You have to select this image, you have to drag here. You have to get another copy, copy and paste. All right, we get the three copies here. Right, select this image, right click, properties, icon. We have to change this one as a drink. So, import, sorry, this not this, this one. We have to change this one as a uh, drink. Which drink first one should be Coca Cola? This one, click OK to apply. Select second image, right click properties. This one should be I can have to change as apple juice. Click OK. Third one, properties. This one should be orange juice. This one, All right? That's it, right. This images I will be attached in my video description. You will be able to download it, right? It's very easy stuff, right? You don't worry about that. Here there will be the text here. You just click here and here edit text. We have to remove this one, backspace to remove. Here also right click, edit text, backspace to remove. Select this one, right click, edit text, backspace to remove, right? Why the default text is show here? When you drag the label, there will be the uh, here. If you drag the label, you notice that there will be the default text should be there, right? So we have to remove that. So I forgot to remove that. That's why here, here it's, it's uh, display like that, right? Now it's perfect, right? Now let's run the project and check. You see, these are all the ice creams. If you click drink item, these are should be the drink, right? That's the thing we have to do, right? Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to add the J table. So here we have to select the tab, you have to, you have to arrange look like this. Now here we have to, under the tab, we have to add one J table. So go to the palette, drag the table, right on table, okay. Here we have to, we need right this look like this perfect right now here we have to change the columns so we have to select this one right click table contents here first one should be the here look like this we have to add this contents item price quantity and total so select this one properties sorry not this select uh, select this one right click table contents 
here we have columns first one should be the item this one should be string second one should be the price uh, second one should be the price this one should be integer this one should be the quantity quantity must be integer type so total final one should be the total right this one should be the integer type right these are the columns consist of our table select the table right click property sorry select the table right click table contents select the columns sorry rows we have to this is the rows when you are uh, import the table it's this is a default rows it should be display we have to remove them select and delete select and delete select and delete right now you will be able to see the table look like this simple now here we have to do another things thing is here drag one label from the palette right click edit text this one should be the total you have to change this one text as total select this one properties font with bold 36 right here we need one text box field right here select this one properties we have to change the font size as 24 with bold and we have to select the background color as uh, this one this uh, sorry select this text box background color we have to change this one as we have to change it as black right black color with font as font color foreground color as we have to change it as white right. this is the thing we have to do right this is a simple design we made right when you run the project you can see this is very simple right this is the design right we design the form is uh, we design successfully now we will be go to the code part right now let's close it now here first we have to get the each uh, uh, label names okay first this one should be we have to change the name as uh, you have to l this one should be the uh, chocolate cho l cho label cho we have to name it this one should be we have to change the name as l uh, this one should be mango a main this one should be change as l change variable l this one should be mix this one should be mixed for this one should be vanilla so l when this one should be l strawberry sw right we have to rename it right here we have to change this one this one right this one change right everything is perfect now let's go to the, the drink tab this one we have to change the name as l c o c o c o coca-cola this one should be l apple a p p this one should be l o r and orange right that's the thing we have to do right now what i'm going to do is here go to the source we have right here is uh, public class public class extend j, uh, uh, j frame here first what i'm going to do is here we have to add the listener okay when when you click the mouse the in, input box should be displayed so we have to write the code for here we have to change here is we have to write the implement the implements we have to write the implements keyword implements right implements mouse listener mouse listener listener right mouse listener click on this one we have to add the uh, namespace for that right it show the error here it's not an error click on this one and you have to implement all the abstract method of the mouse listener class right if you click on this one all the abstract method will be imported here, here. 
it shall be imported here here this one we no need that uh, throw new unsupported exception you have to remove this one select and remove this all the things you should, you should remove it right what is inside the listener here right that's the thing we have to do right now i am going to write the code for only the mouse click event only here only i have write the code for here before write the code what i am going to do is here we have to this all the uh, labels you have to add the listener mouse click listener so first one should be what is the label uh, go to the uh, this is a class uh, below the class we have a constructor public constructor after the initialize component here we have to write this first label what's the name of this label l c c h o so we have to write l c h o dot add mouse mouse listener right this right the same thing we have to add this one right because when you click the mouse this should be work so that we have to add these listeners right that's the must second one should be this one should be orange l man so sorry this is the mango so i have to write l man you have to write this one as l man you have to copy this control c copy control v paste here paste here paste here paste here right third one you have to change as this one you have to change this one as l mix l mix third one should be l mix fourth one should be l vanilla control c to copy l vanilla this one should be right click change variable control c to copy this one should be l strawberry after that go to the second tab drink select this one change variable control c to copy go to the source this one this control c to copy control v to paste here so here we have to change the third one should be this one mango so change variable sorry apple controls so this one say l a p p control c to copy control v to paste here right. after that this one should be orange this one this page name and we need to copy go here and paste it right this of you have to change the names this is the names right this is the so all the labels click you have to set here add mouse click listener we have to all the labels we have to uh, we have to put, uh, add as a mouse click listener each table we have to add the mouse click listener right if you click add this mouse uh, mouse click listener should be work right after that when the program is executed this all the mouse click event is set up right after that what i'm going to do is here go to write the code here when the mouse is clicked this is the event okay public void mouse click event right when you uh, when you select the abstract here the all the method should be created here you have to write in this here mouse click event right here now here we first first step what i'm going to do is here first we have to write the if condition to check if we have to write this one e this parameter e dot get source we have to check if it is label this label chocolate label this name the user select uh, click on this uh, label what happen is we have to write here right what happen what happen is if you click this label what happen is first we have to set the price of the of the, uh, the uh, this ice cream i have set as 45 45 and we have to set the name as well name is very important stuff ice cream name so we have to name this one should be the name i'll we'll write this one as a how to write name equal this one should be first one should be chocolate first one should be chocolate perfect after that we have to check the conditions and everything so here first after that what i'm going to do we have to write the uh, this one we have to write here if you have to test 
equal you have to write the input box integer integer dot pass passing here we have to write j option pan dot show message show message dialog here we have to write show message sorry not show message dialog this is not show message dialog dot show input dialog show input dialog this one. Here we have to write enter the quantity enter the quantity quantity right enter the quantity so input box we have to write this so input right enter the quantity what is the error shown we have to close the record right so here it's it's opening we have to close it here right so perfect after that what i'm going to do is here now here we have to we have to write this instead of here quantity this is a quantity right what is the quantity you entered here put into this variable after that we have to get the total so we have to write int create the variable total in total equal we have to calculate this two price and quantity right you have to write price quantity multiply by quantity that's the thing we have to do right now everything fine now after all the steps are done it is added into the below table right so how to do the task is first we have to uh, do the thing is uh, first we have to go here above here right here we have to import the after the construct initialization after here we have to initialize this one as here plus default default table model table model table model you have to create the object as model equal new this one control c to copy control v to paste here new model right you have to import like this right here select this one import the namespace right perfect now here what i am going to do is here we have to add the model here model model equal this one default table model control c to copy control v to paste here we created the model object above we have to import it here equal this one after that we have to write the j table j table one j table one mean this is the name of the j table you right click and change where you can see this is j table one right this is the name of the table right if we want to re we, we don't need to rename it because there is only one table available so that we have to defaultly we have to uh, put the name as j table one right if it is available one or more, more tables you can change the name right right now what i'm going to see a dot get model right that's the stuff we have to do after that what i'm going to do is here if you have to write a model what is model dot add row here we have to write new objects new object right and you have to write new object now here we have to write uh, here is this one right here we have to write it open the open bracket and we have to close it open bracket and close bracket right looks it like this next up is we have to remove control x to cut off control v to paste here right this is the structure inside the model you have to write first column which one is a item price and quantity and uh, this one dot so here we have first one should be the name so here what is the name chocolate so uh, i have put it the name chocolate it is assigned to the variable this one this variable you have to write here comma second column what is the things goes here price what is the price here 45 so this price variable you have to here price comma third one should be quantity what is the quantity you are selected and it is put into this variable quantity variable so quantity right final one should be the try uh, total total should be it should be this price and quantity both are calculated and 
assigned to the variable total so you have to write dot t that's the thing you have to write that's the only thing you have to write right so effect right now what i'm going to do is here after done the stuff we have to calculate the uh, this one final total here right now still let's we run the project and check whether it's working fine or not if you select this one if you enter two click ok it's here it's successfully display here perfect okay display here right others are not working i haven't put the validations right it's successfully working here without no without a problem now here we have to add the final total so here we have to int sum equal zero you have to write a for loop for int i equal zero here we have to write first i less than j table one dot get row count i plus plus here we have to write here is sum this sum variable you have to get it here equal sum plus integer dot pass pass int here we have to write j table one dot get value at here we write the what is the position we have to sum so here what is the position we have to give this one should be zero one two third position of the total the j table uh, starting the position of zero position zero item means zero one two third position so we have to write here as uh, i three i mean this one this side right it is looping right if you add the values it is looping right it should be calculated that's the thing we have done here right here we have to error the error is you have to here you have to convert into this one as a two string method now this error go away after the loop outside the loop we have to write the where the where the sum should be passed into this text box so we have to name is or change as txt sub this text box name and what is the default value here we have to edit text remove the default text all right that's the thing we have to do so we have to go to the source we have to write txt sub dot set text here we have to write integer dot two string two string this sum we have to put here that's it now let's check whether it's working fine or not very simple click on this one quantity to here which display the total here so perfect now what i'm going to do is here i go to the do the remaining stuff so it's very easy if you've done one stuff you no need to write from the beginning so here if 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 you select this one this label we have to do this stuff otherwise it is starting here this is starting here it is uh, closing here this if is close closing here right after that you have to write another one is else if you have to write else if the same thing else if you have same thing control c to copy control v to paste here so so no need we have to remove it the same if we have to copy control c to copy control v to paste below this one we have to change it as a else if right that's it now here we have to change the second one as a this what's the label l man control c to copy this will change it as l man here instead of the chocolate we have to change it as a mango this mango mango price you can change any price here i change it as 40 right that's that's the only thing only we have to change the name and price only and here label only right it should be work uh, the same thing you have to done the remaining stuff as well control c to copy convert paste here 
this one should be Lmix control C copy control V to paste Lmix this one should be mix foot right price you have to give as 30 others are same same thing yes if you have to control C to copy control V to paste below this one you should be mix foot this one should be vanilla so this label vanilla here should be vanilla this one should be you have to change as 60 same thing right same thing you have to copy this control C copy control V to paste below this one should be store by this one control C to copy control V to paste here store by here also you have change your store by you have change your store by this one should be 70 right that's it that's the thing we have to do right after that drink let's check whether it's working so far one works works fine here is calculator successful here it's working that now let's do the drink part as well the same thing you have to do the drink as well same else if we have to get the copy again control c to copy control v to paste below this one should be for the design this tab as a name here this one control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be coca cola right this one should be a piece of 20 right the same thing you have to control c to copy sorry select control c to copy control v to paste below this one should be apple so this one should be apple so name this one this one should be apple juice so piece of 35 same thing we have to copy control c copy paste it this one should be orange <coughs> orange juice right this one should be 25 right that's the thing we have to do right now let's check one quantity code the drink select this one two quantity three here it's added successfully now let's change the <coughs> color of this one right it's not a uh, the color is not good we have to change the table color right uh, so what i'm going to do is here go above when the form is loaded here we have to set the color here after the add mouse click listener we have to ch change the table color here first we have to write the table name j table one dot you have to write set foreground color foreground right this one foreground this foreground color here you have to set as a red first one here you can select as i, I set as not red set as yellow default to come dot yellow it's yellow right after that you have to do another thing a so background color table one dot set background color you have to write this one as a black so you have to write as a color dot black All right after that we have to write the third one should be j table one dot set this one as a false you have to write like this 
after that we have to write the font style table font style we have to write dot set font dot set font we have to write new font so write the font here right i have to write simply i have to write this font comma font dot bold comma size i am going to give as a 60 right this is the thing we have to write it's very simple if you write like uh, write like this the table should be attractive let's run the program and check this is a table here if you select right here it's attractive right we add the drink okay it's successfully it's working Right. very simple for us you must try this one uh, here it's all the all the things are working fine uh, if you have any doubt on this while you're working in the project you can ask me anytime the images folder i will be attached in the description you will be able to download that and you you can work okay uh, thank you for watching uh, if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching